Okay. <laughs> right. So this video is three sh three attacks of shit people. <laughs> right. Um, they're not shit people. They just don't know what they're doing. Okay. So um, sometimes you get someone just piling straight into you, and you've got to put up fly guards, and it's really annoying because they just flatten you out because they're not doing the right thing. Um, beginners and um, less able. Okay. So <laughs> less able at grappling. Alright, uh, I'll be sat here, even at distance maybe, and not even getting anywhere. Alright, so Graham just decided he's going to dive in to try and get an underhook and squish me. <laughs> okay, my priority is to get at least one leg on his hips too if I can. And they sit back like this. He might be controlling this leg and things, he might be trying to hold this in so that I can't triangle him. But he's gone to this underhook, my feet have gone to his hips. Alright, so it's something we have to practice. If he sits back up again, alright, people wonder why I go to open guard a lot is because I have a lot of people that come through here trying to kill me. Okay? So as he dives in I really need to try and keep him at distance. Okay? Once once I'm at distance my first attack really is just gonna be a, a, a straight kind of arm bar off this if I can. My foot goes on his hip and all I'm literally gonna do is I'm just gonna push my hips and straighten the arm, okay, to tap him out. Probably won't tap him out but it'll make him yell and jump a little bit. Alright? Um I, I find it's quite easy to do and quite easy to hold t my knees tight together and just lift here yeah, and you can get a nice little tap there. If I can't get the tap, I can start bending this arm. Yeah, start bending this arm and start again going for the straight arm bar off that. Normally it's enough to give them a shock. And if they get a shock there, what they tend to do is withdraw away or I'm going to give space to sit in to get your triangle hook to get into your triangle position. Alright, I really like to get into this triangle position for now. Okay, so we go. He drives in through his underhook. Hands go on his hips. He keeps pushing forward, pushing forward, pushing forward. It's really annoying. I'm trying to do stuff with my feet and everything. People get their hooks trapped in the inside. If you get your hooks trapped on the inside, it just use the other hand to pull it through and, and pass. If I keep my feet on his hips, he can try and pass. It's actually really difficult for him to try and pass because my feet are on his hips. He has to posture to pass now. Okay? He really has to posture to pass now. This arm is available, so I'm just going to squeeze my knees together. I'm trying to get my knee on the side of his head and I'm trying to get this on here. Okay? And then I just sit up and I just push it up. It's going to give the straight arm back. He might turn his arm and twist his arm away from me. Alright? If he does that, I'm going to hold the back of the tricep, maybe go for some kind of Kimura off there. But he'll pull back, and as he pulls back, that's there. Just do not let that arm go. Keep it nice and tucked. It's going to set me up for my triangle. Okay. However you finish your triangle. Okay. It's up to you however you finish your triangle. Third, numpty move. I call it numpty moves. Is that one of the ways that they can pass guard is to completely dive in and keep both your legs inside. And when they do a thing called the cartwheel pass, which they put belly and do a tap wheel pass. In order for him to do that, he needs to get me flat on the back and he needs to keep both uh, hooks in. A lot of people cling on butterfly and think they know, or they know what they're doing, sorry, they don't know what they're doing. I try and squeeze the knees together and trap the legs there. Alright? So we'll try and hold the legs in. It makes it more difficult for me to use them as levers and stuff. But I'm aware of that. So what I'm going to make sure is that my feet are in a place where I can take them out if I really want to. So, I'm going to go with him being a bit of a numpty again at this point. What he's going to do is he's going to try and just drive me back flat and try and squish my elevators. He's going to do this in slow motion because I might not be fast enough to catch him. Okay? So he's going to dive towards me. My feet go on his hips and I just pull him in. Okay? I pull him in, my feet go on his hips. It's really strong. If he tries to pass or move or anything, it's not going to happen. Yeah, I've got some kind of stupid crab guard going on here, really. Or stupider crab guard. I should have a gi on, I suppose. But it works really, really well. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to push everything back in that direction. Sit up. At the same time, my hand goes on the back of his head. Push it underneath my neck. Underneath there. My hand goes underneath. I don't care if it goes on his chin. I don't care if it goes deep under his neck. Okay? Hand goes on top. Doing that. 
thing in the elbow and the top of the back. No one can do that because it's going to be weak and then attack. Okay, I use this quite a lot. It always takes your leg knees down, which is quite embarrassing, but you know, show your goods to the crowd. So, one more time, I'm inside here. <laughs> Inside here, dives in, put my feet on his hips, controlling something, allow him to get through if I want. Perfect, I'm gonna push him away, push his head away at the same time. <sighs> Snatch down his head, hand goes on top of the back of his head, this hand goes underneath. I need to get my shoulder directly over his shoulder, I'm trying to get my ear onto the back of his uh, shoulder blade. Once I'm here, this hand goes in, it's on top of the back of my hand, and I turn it over. It's really quite easy. The grip I use is the one that Marcel uses. I know there's pretzel grips and all these different things. Play with them if they work for you. I just get the other. Okay? Turn this over. Don't really guillotine this side because I've reconstructed surgery on this and that's as far as it moves. This one moves properly, so turn my elbow over. High guillotine, it's superb. So there you go. Take easy attacks.